This AI tool transforms ChatGPT into a visual map. So, I asked it to generate a mind map on a topic, the psychology of consumer decision-making. Instead of providing generic paragraphs that are not very easy to understand, it gives me a visual illustration of how the decision process takes place and all the factors that influence decision-making. Assuming I want to learn more about a particular factor, all I have to do is ask the AI to tell me more. The AI tool pops out a separate Kanban board for me with all the relevant information, and I can just connect the two cards. I also need more info about this, so I'm going to ask the AI to provide more explanation. The AI pops out a separate list, which I'm going to connect back to the original. This is a web article by Paul Graham. Reading through this article is going to take me quite some time, but I have just about two minutes to consume the entire content. So, I'll copy the link to this document, come over to this AI tool, and type, turn Paul Graham's essay, give the website link, into a visual story, give the AI a few seconds to do its thing. And here's the condensed version of the document presented to me. Introducing my Map AI, a revolutionary AI tool designed with the needs of students, teachers, and content creators in mind. Unlike traditional methods, my Map AI transforms coherent inputs into comprehensible visual data in real time, providing users with an efficient and swift means of processing information, much like ChatGPT but for visual info representation. Students can use it to enhance their understanding of complex subjects. Teachers can create engaging lesson plans. And content creators can visualize their content ideas and concepts with clarity. A link to the website has been placed in the video description. By following the provided link, you will find yourself on this interface. A simple click on Get Started Free initiates the onboarding process. Sign up with an email address, and within moments, you'll find yourself in this expansive ideas canvas. Let's assume I want to learn the Chinese language in a period of 100 days. All I have to do is tell the AI what's on my mind and hit enter. My map would then ask if I prefer a mind map to organize my learning plans or a cheat sheet with key phrases. I can choose either option, and I'll start with a cheat sheet. The AI takes a few seconds to generate, organize, and arrange the cheat sheet for me. There are a total of six slides here, and I can enter presentation mode by clicking on the small arrow icon at the top navigating through the entire document by clicking and dragging until I reach the end. On this page, there are tools at the top that help you arrange and design the mind map in the best possible way. If you accidentally lose or delete the mind map or any items generated by the AI, come to these three dots, click on History, choose any of the options, and the AI will restore back to that point. If you find value in this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Beyond chatting with the AI and creating outstanding mind maps, you can also use it to summarize web articles and documents. For example, this is Neil Patel's web article on effectively marketing on Instagram. After going through the article, copy the link to the document, go to my map AI, ask it to help summarize the document, and provide the link. You can give more specific instructions as you wish. The AI analyzes the document and determines two best options to present the information visually. I can select any option. Here's the list with bullet points. Even though it's a list, I can also change the presentation type to a mind map. Here's the information, and I can switch to presentation mode to consume the content. This method works on most web pages that don't require login credentials. For design and collaboration, you have a variety of tools at your disposal. The scale tool allows you to resize and scale the entire mind map, and you can switch between select and drag mode. If you click on any of these outputs, you can further refine them with the AI tool. For example, I can choose this box and select, make the content punchier. The AI will then rewrite the output. You can drag and reposition any of the contents by holding and dragging. Additionally, you can select and apply different styles to the content as needed. The AI tool can also help you to expand on any of the contents, or summarize sections as desired. The side panel on the left is used to view all your mind maps, starting from the most recently opened content. As mentioned earlier, use the chat box to edit, analyze, or generate any type of content, as well as the tools in the toolbar to design your mind map. 
After generating and designing your content, you can use the share button to generate a link for collaborators to work on the document or publish the web page online. Apart from all we've discussed so far, my map AI can also give you code in different programming languages as you specifically want. For instance, I can instruct the AI to generate the structure and code for a landing page to promote my productivity app. These are the separate sections, from the page section all the way to the footer section, each with different codes. Implementing this might be a bit confusing, so I'm going to ask the AI to extract highlights I could focus on. And that's as simple as it gets. To obtain a free MyMap AI account and start using this incredible AI tool, simply comment the word MyMap in the comments section below. In conclusion, my map AI will be genuinely helpful for you as a student, teacher, or content creator. It operates much like ChatGPT in visual form, organizing ideas, creating visuals, and facilitating collaboration. To explore my map AI, follow the links provided in the video description below. Sign up for free and navigate its intuitive interface to unlock the potential of collaborative ideation and streamlined information processing. Thanks for watching.